guys, it's Claire here. Welcome back to my channel. So today we will be doing, we will be making, we will be making some chicken pie. Chicken pie. Without the vegetables. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be making some salad too. To go with the chicken pie. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm an assistant. She is my... Chef Rose. Okay, so let's get started. So, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, here she is. Assistant, I need your pretty clothes. Today, I started early with the pie crust, the bottom pie crust, into a glass pan. But you may use aluminum or whatever you like. I like glass. To start out with the bottom pie crust, which is it is from, we bought it from Kroger Kroger looks backwards but it's Kroger okay so if you want to follow us you can use a this kind you can buy at Kroger it's very delicious uh -huh. and inexpensive yeah but it's worth it so Ahead of time, I drained the chicken from the can. You can use canned chicken or cooked chicken. Mm -hmm. And for speediness, we're using canned chicken. Canned so chicken. I drained the chicken broth off of the canned chicken. And then what we add is canned mushroom. Cream of mushroom. Oh, cream mushroom. And you can buy this also at Kroger. While I'm mixing, Chloe can tell you that this pie is made of two pie crusts. So you can mm -hmm. see I'm mixing the chicken broth that we drained off of the canned chicken. Or if you're cooking chicken, you would use one cup of chicken broth mm -hmm. from cooked chicken, but no more. And you can get the chicken at Sam's at the house. Mm -hmm. I also will be using tomatoes, chopped tomatoes with chili. That with the chilies, green chilies, uh, very mild because there are some people that do not like hot chicken pie or tomatoes with chilies. So, uh, and then so I drained all the juice because we don't want too much juice mm -hmm. in our pie. And this is the chicken, I mean, the tomatoes. Here's a tomato. You can buy this at... Where can you buy it at? Chef? Any store. Any store. And it can be any tomatoes. This happens to be the brand that we have. Mm -hmm. Red gold. Uh -huh. And it's chopped tomatoes with mm -hmm. green chilies. And we are using the mic. So now, mm -hmm. can you see my... Chloe assistant, can you hold it a little? I am mixing the chopped chilies into the chicken broth and cream of mushroom mixture. You mix it. Okay, assistant, would you mix it very gently and carefully? Mm-hmm. You just have to be really careful. My grandma's in the background. Yeah, we're we're living we're visiting mm -hmm. Chloe's grandmother. Mm-hmm. Make sure the bottom is mixed in very carefully because it's kind of juicy. And you don't want to smash all of them because that would be bad. All right, we're next, ready for the next step. Okay, so it looks like this. Okay, it looks like a slushy, but don't. Yeah, don't. If, if you like that stuff, it might yeah. taste good, but we don't think so, do yeah. we? Yeah. Now, back to our pie pan. We we're will now in. drop the chicken, chicken. in into so, the pie pan. Boy, would you, would you just pour it in, please? Here's drop it in. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Slowly, carefully, because it's chunky. Okay. And dump the there next we one. go. And then my assistant will spread it out with a butter knife. That's why you need um, parents mm -hmm. or does a grown up or or a big sister mm -hmm. could help or you. a big brother. Uh -huh. 
Oh, we have to show them. Oh, yeah. yeah. Can we show them? There we go. I will hold it and you, you show them how to spread the chicken. So you're going to spread the chicken like this. Very carefully because you don't want to get it off the pan. Mm -hmm. Get all the lumps, make it into little small pieces mm -hmm. because this is going to be a pie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't have to get very small, Chloe. Mm -hmm. Just little big, get the big chunks, kind of turn them apart. That's it. Careful that you do not cut through to the pie crust mm -hmm. because that makes a hole and, and the juice pie, will get out. Yeah, and we want and to keep it juicy. Yeah. And then the pie won't, and then the pie would, when you bake it, um, mm -hmm. it won't turn out. That looks good. pretty good, Chloe. Thank okay. you. All right. So, now, we'll show you it. That's what it looks like. I could eat it right now, couldn't you? Mm -hmm. Yum. Now we're going to put the jucky, the, the sauce, mm -hmm. over the pie. Mm -hmm. And so it won't look good, and I definitely wouldn't want to eat yeah. it. Yeah. What do you think, Chloe, as we dump the sauce? I think it won't look very good. Ew. Ew. <laughs> Ew. And then we spread the sauce evenly. Can you hold it up to show? Then we spread the sauce evenly over the bottom, you know, over the chicken, because we want it to cover all of the chicken. Very good, Chloe. Now, we will put some cheese. Cheese. Here, Chloe, would you uh, show them the container of cheese? Here is a cheese. We are, we are using square cheese today, but you could also use cheese. shredded cheese, mm -hmm. and you can use any flavor. Today, and we're using what flavor, Chloe? We are using... Monterey Jack cheese. Mm -hmm. Now, it doesn't look like there's cheese, but there is. See, you can see it. Mm -hmm. And you can get this at H-E-B. So you can show again. This one is 2% cheese. Mm -hmm. If you are this counting so your cool. calories a little, mm -hmm. the pie is, you know, it's very high calorie. And then this is circle cheese. Probably. Like, mm -hmm. Probably. So we're going to use this. So, so if you will sh uh, hold the camera, Chloe, and they can see how we do the cheese on the pie. So here's the cheese. And I will make triangles. Mm -hmm. But if you have, now show the pie. If you have shredded cheese, that will work just as well. And you just spread it over the pie. Now I have to get my other piece. And it melts down through mm -hmm. the sauce and mixes with the chicken, which mm -hmm. makes it delicious. Delicious. Yes. So now I will take the circle. And cheese. some people, you know, they don't like provolone, but we do. It's mm -hmm. we like it very well. So it's you know it has a little bit of different taste, but it is the non-smoked provolone. Mm -hmm. So that's the good part about it. Uh -huh. Just about done. Up, oh, I tore that one. So we'll just finish tearing. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be fancy. It's just a pie. That's correct. It's just a pie. But and this will melt when it bakes. Uh-huh. And it'll be super good. Now, the next thing is our pie crust. Show them again. The second, the second piece. Now, you can show it to them while I get it going. Here is the pie crust. If you want to show me taking the pie crust apart. Okay. So here's is a pie crust. This is the second one that comes mm -hmm. in the box. Mm -hmm. So you need to roll it out. Uh -huh. And carefully, put your hand under two to help me, lady. And you have to put it on the pie. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to show you how we seal the pie. Mm -hmm. And Chloe maybe can too. So what I do is I roll it underneath like that. Right underneath, mm -hmm. and Chloe, here we go. This is kind of juicy, so I'm mm -hmm. going to do it a little earlier. Yeah. We're, going, we're going to have a very juicy pie. Yeah. But you can decrease your mm -hmm. fluid. Some of the cups of juice, you could, if you have a, um, your chicken juice, you can go to one half cup rather than one cup. 
your chicken broth. So as I work on the pie, Chloe is getting another thing that she can tell you that's very, very helpful when you bake a pie. Okay, so what you have is you have this pie cover. Well, it's kind of like a pie cover. Mm -hmm. So, do you know if, if what it does is it covers the edges where the mm -hmm. pie crust sticks up so it won't spill, spill or burn. Mm -hmm. You don't want your pie crust to burn because you want to have a beautiful pie crust. Mm -hmm. All right, Chloe, I'm getting ready to seal the edges. Would you like to show everybody how I seal the edges? Okay, so, so. how you seal the edges... Okay, you hold the yellow because it's juicy. Yeah. So what I do is I make a crimp. This is what we call a crimp for pie crust. Mm. Okay, that's good. We're, gonna, we're going. We'll be back in a few minutes after we finish this mm -hmm. task. So be back in a minute, guys. Okay, we are back, and this is how the pie looks. See how delicious it is? It's a mm -hmm. big fat pie. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now what we are going to do, we are going to, to poke holes for the poke. steam. Mm -hmm. And your pie with a fork. But be careful not to poke all the way down to the bottom because you'll make holes in the bottom of the pie. And you can make a design on your pie. Mm -hmm. Get up and show. <clears throat> okay, so let me show you guys. With the fork. We're making an X, kind of. And then two little holes in the mm -hmm. middle. Because the steam has to come out, or the pie will explode in your oven. Yeah, and that won't be good. Mm -hmm. And uh, once Chloe finishes putting the protective cover on the edges, if you see, see the edges here? Then uh, they will, they're higher, therefore they will brown quicker. So she will place a protective edge on there. Mm -hmm. And when we are totally ready for dinner tonight, we will put it in the oven and bake it at 400 degrees mm -hmm. or 375, depending upon your oven's temperature. But remember that all you need, all that's happening is the cheese and the sauce are blending with the chicken and the pie crust is baking to a lovely golden brown pie crust. Now, Chloe will put the protective edges around the pie. So, this is the protector edges. Mm -hmm. Now, she, I will. Okay, we'll be back. Yeah, we'll be back. And we are back, guys. So, we moved to a different room. And so, here is our pie. It has the cover on it. So, now, what you do, you take some. You take some plastic wrap, and so then you will cover it with plastic wrap, and so refrigerator. And then you eat and then you put it in your refrigerator until it gets pretty cold, and then you put it in the oven for at three seventy five to four hundred for probably about 35 minutes, but mm -hmm. keep your eye on the pie in yes. case it burns. Yeah, we don't want that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I hope you like this video, and so give me a huge thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, so thanks for, and our next video will be making what? Salad to go with the chicken pie. Uh-huh. So you'll see both of us in our next video on a salad. So I hope you like guys like this video. Give me a huge thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and the notification bell so you know when we're all posting videos. So thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.